are they trying to make Chandra's the worst planeswalker ever? Chandra Nalar was playable, not useful. Chandra Ablaze just got her first ability released. Um, it's only a plus one ability. And may I remind you, she does cost uh, six. Yeah, six. Now, it—it's what I kind of predicted with a uh, flame javelin ability, but it's plus one. Discard a card, and if it's a red card, um. Chandra Blaze deals 4 damage to target creature or player. Now, it's better than uh, Chandra Noir in the sense that it can now target a creature. But you're diminishing hand size, you're diminishing mono red spells that probably would have done 4 damage anyway. Um, Dunam. Um, yeah, and then she has two minus abilities. Comes into play with five. So, first turn, you're probably only going to have one or two cards in hand in the first place by the time you get her out, and your opponent probably will have more than four life. Um, so, them just stating that, um, you have to discard a card first, and, um, just to get the plus one, it's really not worth it. You know, it's like... You can't just put a plus one counter on her without discarding a card. I mean, like other planeswalkers, you can do something like that, like untap um, or all your creatures get plus one plus one in haste with Sarkin Ball. So that's saying all your creatures. If you have no creatures on the field, you can still do it because all your creatures is zero. You have zero of all your creatures. Um, so it's not like a do what you can ability. It's to do it a plus one you have to discard a card. And for that reason Chandra Ablaze I do not want. I got three Chandra and the Lars. Uh, I traded them away instantly. Uh, did not want them. My red deck runs perfectly fine without them. The only, there's only two Planeswalkers that have red in them that are good to use. And that's Sarkin and uh, Vengeance. So, yeah. Chandra Blaze is going to equal fail. Because if you can't even do her last ability without pumping her up in a mono red deck, you would have to have like a blue red deck, which allows you to draw a shit ton of cards. So, yeah. I I predict Chandra Blaze's value to be around three to five dollars. Uh, Soren Markov, the value, I predict to be around five to seven. Um, I say that because he is just so high cast cost. And 
Beacon of Value, Day of Judgment, the new Wrath of God that people hate for some reason, and state they will quit magic if it's real. I say good riddance. I really do. Because it is for that reason that it does not have regenerate, that regenerate could come back. And it is for that reason that Hellkite Overlord just got that much better. Troll Aesthetic got that much better. Now that Wrath's out, bam, Day of Judgment, they can regenerate. Still full mana. Destroy all creatures, even your own. It's. I predict Regenerate will make an appearance in this block. And it's for that reason that I predict Day of Judgment will be 15 to $20 starting. So. Let's see what happens, guys. Let's we'll see if Chandra really is going to be a fail or if they're just fucking with us. Which they're not. So.